Okay, let's take a little tour now of Blendication. Um, once you go to Blendication, you'll see that the website looks like this. And if you look here on the right hand side, you'll see that there's a user area. And what you're going to want to do, if it's the first time you've come to the website, you're going to need to register at the website in order to go to the classes or sign up for classes. So I advise you to just click on register. Simply put in a username and your email address and the password will be emailed to you as soon as you click register. Then what you're going to want to do is come back to the website and click on login. Here you'll enter your username and your password and this convenient little remember me so you don't have to do this over and over again if you're lazy like me. Um, click right onto the web calendar. You can just roll over these and you can see a little brief description of what the classes are going to be about. And if you're interested in one of these topics and you click on one, for instance here on the 22nd, there'll be an advanced topic discussed. If you click on the 22nd, it's going to pull up an additional window. And how easy it is to sign up once you've registered at the site is simply by just clicking on sign me up. Now that you've been signed up for the class on the 22nd, if I click on that, you'll see that my name is in there already. So it will keep track of me and whoever else is going to attend the class. This particular advanced topic, you'll see down here that there's an advanced topic discussion page. And what that's going to do is allow people to discuss things before the class with the instructor. It's also going to give more information about the class. For instance, this particular advanced class is going to be based on this tutorial. On the date of the class, you will be emailed a link that's going to allow you to log directly into a, the classroom. And I'll show you how that works. If I go to my email, and I go to my inbox, you'll see here I have an invitation. If I click on that, it simply says to join it, click here. Now this program is going to do a go out and it's going to ask me first what do I want my display name to be? Please use the display name that you used for the Blendication website. Use the same name so that we know who you are and that you've you know, come in. For me I'm just going to write me and I'm going to click join. It does a quick system check. If there's anything missing, it will notify me that, for instance, my flash player or something isn't actually the newest, and it will tell me. And then what I'm doing is I'm sitting in a waiting room right now, and the instructor will just allow me to come into the, into the classroom, and here I am. If I click on this little button here, it's going to allow me to go to a full screen mode, and that will be the best way to view the tutorials that are going to be displayed to you. Also you'll notice that over here on the right hand side it has a built-in chat window. So I can chat with the instructor and the rest of the classroom. I can also do, because that's a public chat, I can also, if I have a microphone, I can connect myself with a microphone to the classroom and request that my audio be in, um, enabled. There's also the ability for the instructor to do a share a whiteboard with us. And you can see that there's some things here that I, we, can, we can modify. And that's how easy it is to go to the website, register at the website, get yourself a username and a password, and then see if uh, you like the class. Well, that'll about do it for this particular tutorial. I want to thank you all for coming by and hope to see you in some of the classes very soon. And until then, happy blending.